Now, next is step nine, to maintain your portion. Make sure when you're in present, when you're now presenting, stand straight like a soldier. Be, that means you. It shows that you are confident. You are not afraid. You are now strong. I mean, you are prepared for the presentation. So when you're standing straight, next, relax your neck and shoulder. Don't be, you know. Be calm, okay. Don't be, you know, afraid. You must be relax your shoulders and your necks. Make sure in your presentation, you must have an appropriate hand gesture. This helps you to emphasize an idea or point easily for your audience to know. So, like example, let's say I'm presenting now. There are two kinds, two kinds of schools that we have in this world. We have public schools. We also have private schools. Okay, that's an example. To make sure you emphasize an idea or point, you do like this. Use an appropriate hand gesture. Now, here it's, there was the do's to do. Now the don'ts, right? The don'ts. Do not slouch, okay? Because if you do like that, you are actually showing lack of confidence on yourself. Then, Putting your hands on the pocket, that is actually a major issue. It's actually, that shows that you're afraid. You are nervous. Now, although hand gestures are permissible to your presentation, however, if, you're use, if you are using too many hand gestures, that's a problem. Because it kind of distracts audience. It, it doesn't suit your presentation well if you're doing too many hand gestures. Moving too much, that's also a problem here. Because if you're rocking your body and you're moving like, you know, rocking your body back and forth maybe, that shows that's a sign of that you are very, very nervous. Okay? So, again, for your, or one thing for a deuce section, if you have to move in an appropriate point so that you are so that you can get yourself comfortable. For example, if I'm in a presentation, you're talking, blah 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 blah, and then I walk back and forth like this. I'm not I don't mean to say rock, okay, I'm just walking while saying something. Okay? So I'm saying right now. For example, so that's how to get yourself comfortable, you must walk. Don't rock your body. That's crazy, and that one, it's a don't to you. It shows that you're nervous. Again, move at the appropriate point. This to there. Make sure you walk slowly so that you're comfortable. Compared to being rocking your body, because that shows that you're nervous. Okay. Now, if you are nervous, here's one point here. Step 10, when you are feeling afraid, when you're feeling, you know, feel like surrendering yourself, maybe. If you are doing like such that, such thing like that, look at a friendly face in your audience. Maybe your best friend, for example, or a teacher that you like. You look at that guy so that before beginning your presentation because that helps you know relieving yourself before you be begin your presentation one last thing before I end Spe when you are when you are presenting speak slowly don't rush if don't look at you know do not rush take your time because if you rush audiences might not understand what you said so make sure you speak slowly, okay? And one thing, speak loud, okay? Depending on the size of the room itself, all right, the room. If your room is so small, for example, you are in a presentation, you are presenting in a small room, just speak like 
I don't mean to say that yes, don't don't speak soft, speak loud still, but not too loud. And if you're in a bigger room, make sure you speak even louder than that. As if, except if you have a microphone, for example, that's fine. Okay, now I'm going to just review in some. Okay. Again, step one. Pick a magnetic headline that suits your presentation. Step two. Now, use stunning transitions. Then, use accelerating colors. Use sharp images, especially a 1080 pixels image. Let's make sure it's clear. Use standout fonts, like droid sense, impact, something like that. Next, step six. Practice and practice and practice. Step 7. Make sure you have a right facial expression for your presentation. Then, maintain eye contact to your audience. That is very important. Step 9. Maintain posture. I mean, uh, uh, stand straight. Use your use hand gestures which is appropriate to your presentation. Okay. Do not rock your body, just like I said. Don't slouch. Don't put your hands on your pocket. It shows that you are nervous. Step 10, again, when you are nervous or feeling afraid, look at a friendly face, okay, before beginning your presentation. Final step, speak slowly. Do not rush and also speak louder for your audience to listen. Now, I'm going to give you some examples for some examples that you know okay let's go back to step two okay use stunning transitions now if you look at the OCR um, OCR uh, PowerPoint that I did here a uh, show right there you can see that I was using a lot of transitions you can see honeycomb transition you can even see vortex and much much more cool stuff transition here you can even see a gallery transition as well now okay exhilarating color spot for step three if you look at this uh, mathematics matter review um, right here you can see that I'm using a lot of greens green letters and uh, colorful backgrounds black green um, and all of this lit, all of this it suits and it sounds very majestic. Okay, that's one cool thing to do for this. So, next, sharp images, 1080 pounds, uh, pounds, pixels, okay. Now, let's take a look at this presentation here. In this presentation, I've used lots of, lots of images which are sharp, and I found from the Google search, um, and um, see the Mount Everest picture here. Um, it's actually 1080 pixels and right here you can see the description for it if you were to present something like that I was using the sharp images I was using a sharp image 1080 pixels and that's one example to do alright I hope all of these steps help you to present later okay and hope to see you guys next time and thank you and goodbye guys see you later